good morning afternoon evening wherever you are i'm your friend dr charles apoki i had to hurriedly do this um, live broadcast it's been long i did any broadcast live I hear people saying that uh, Igbos cannot rule Nigeria or Igbos cannot be president, Igbos cannot vote in Lagos, Igbos should be driven out of Lagos. Erufai said that uh, the North would prefer to go to war instead of an Igbo man to rule Nigeria. Sometimes I wonder if these people saying these things are sin. I watched a video of a so-called prophet who said that all Igbos in Lagos, in the Dumota market and whatever, um, should uh, prepare to leave Lagos. I saw the, God, the mother of the governorship candidate of Lagos State who is Igbo, uh, was uh, campaigning for his son in uh, Igbo language, and later she changed to Yoruba. And somebody was saying that um, um, these Igbo people want to talk over everywhere. Let me address some key issues. I lived in Igbo land for 15 years. I practiced medicine at Aba for 15 years. Nobody discriminated against me. In fact, I had 10 job offers at the end of youth service. The Igbo man accommodated me. The Igbo man was a blessing to me. The Igbo man took care of me, protected me in my most vulnerable times. And I named all my children. I gave them Igbo names alongside Urobo names. The Igbo man is very protective of visitors in his area. There's a, a, a tradition in Igbo land called Wanwa. If your father is not from that locality and your mother is from that locality and you come as a grandchild, you can cut plantain, do anything, no person will molest you. Till today, my best friends and those who have contributed most to my life are Igbo people. Now, let's take the Igbo man. He wanted Biafra. You fought against him, killed their people, and then practiced genocide against them that they should not go. Why did you kill Easterners in the north? Because they plan, they, it is perceived that Unzogu Kaduna killed a northern leader. Unzogu Kaduna, in the real sense, is from Okpanam or Ila. He was from the former Midwestern region, even though he bears an Igbo name. Now, we are there not Igbos that were killed by northerners in retaliation, in, in counter coups, have northerners not killed their fellow northerners in coups? Did northerners not kill Adebayo, who the Fajui, yes, Fajui, not Adebayo, Fajui, who said instead of um, Aguji Ronsi to be killed in his house, he would prefer to die with his commander-in-chief. The man who slapped him, the man who shot Agui Ronsi and buried him in a shallow grave, is the same person who is now complaining about northern oppression, about Fulani oppression. I'm talking of Theophilus Danjuma. Then he was not aware that he was a Christian. He was not aware that he was a minority. It was a northerner. And so with bitterness and vengeance, he killed Agoyin Ronsi, who was not part of the coup. Why 
do you hate Igbo people? An Igbo man is a greater nationalist than any other tribe I know that is pretending to be nationalistic. Maybe apart from those who are from former Bendel or Midwestern region. Anywhere an Igbo man stays, he builds his house there. He resides there. He even names his children after the place they were born. You see, Igbo houses all over Lagos, all over Kanu, all over Kaduna, all over Joss. You will see Igbos all over the world. Go to Siaka Stevens Street in Sierra Leone. You will see Igbos there doing business. Our northern brothers who claim to rule, want to rule Nigeria. Go to between Afikbo and uh, Okigwe. You will see an Islamic center established by a Muslim who came back from Senegal. It has been there for years. It has been there for years. No person has gone there to destroy that Islamic center. There are Igbos converting to Islam for whatever reason they like. Now, if an Igbo man opens a church in a northern part of this country and a Muslim converts to Christianity, they will go and burn down his church. We don't burn down mosques over here. I was in Abakiliki. There is a part in Abakiliki. The house is there. All the occupants are northerners and Muslims. Nobody fights them. Nobody tells them they want to dominate them. Who come? An Igbo man does not sell suya. He has never sold suya. He has not competed with, uh, with, uh, he has not competed with an Hausa man or a Fulani man for the, in the business of suya. Why do you hate Igbos? In the, the Njemanze family in Oweri, the royal family, there is a Muslim married into the Njemanze family in, in, uh, in Oweri. The Hausa quarter market at Wari has been there for years. I grew up to meet them. Why do you hate Igbos? Igbos have contributed to the military. Igbos have contributed to science and technology in Nigeria. Igbos have excelled in sports, if not dominated sports. They've shed their blood for this country. Okwaraji died playing for the Super Eagles. Okwaraji died playing for Super Eagles. Christian Chuku, Christian Chuku, uh, what's the other person? The goalkeeper's name, Okala. Nigerians have sacrificed their lives for the good of this nation. Igbos have contributed to literature. Igbos have held Ungozi Okonji Iwala, uh, Obi Okwesilieze, Chinua Achebe. Uh, who will I mention? Igbos have contributed to the development of this country. They have excelled in all aspects of the world. Why do you hate Igbos? I'm not an Igbo man. But why do you hate Igbos? Simple reason. Any political midget like Erufai, any intellectual dwarf, sees an Igbo man as a threat to his relevance in his immediate community. So it falls back to tribalism, falls back to regionalism, falls back to religion to compete, to, to outdo the Igbo man. An Igbo man is a hardworking man. An Igbo man is a Republican. He does not bow his head before any person. An Igbo man is a frugal person. So he comes to your community, he will do many hard jobs, save his money, live a frugal life, then build a big house. And you are lazy there being an indigent. Lagos is your own. Who told you that? An Igbo man is frugal. In my community, Atugeli, one woman didn't know I was an Urobo man, that I was born in Ofoma in Ugeli. He was telling another woman, you know, see, you know, see uh, how we Urobo people foolish. See this Igbo man when he come here just now. If they carry our money within wife, they go. Who give you money? Shut up your dirty mouth. When I was bus driver in the school, when I was cleaning toilet in the school, when I was gate man in the school as a medical doctor, when I was living, when I had only two shoes, I don't wear wristwatch. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I don't wear coral bead. I don't throw my money anyhow. I'm in the farm now. I'm going to peel cassava. Then when you see me get rich, you say, see this Igbo man. They can't carry our money go. Stupid human beings. What did Igbo man do to you? What did Igbo people do to you people? You killed them during the civil war. You told them that you were going to reconcile with them. You don't want them to, you want them to keep quiet in their own country. What did Igbo people do to you people for God's sake? One of my elders recently, or is he my age mate? Because he heard on radio when I was talking about Igbo people. He said he can never trust an Igbo man. An Igbo man is this, an Igbo man is that. Then immediately after that, he started complaining about an Urobo lawyer who was taking his land, suppressing him, oppressing him. Is that an Igbo man? Don't we have oppression in this community where I come from? The Igbo man is hardworking. He takes everything he does very seriously. This nonsense must stop in this country. If you don't want the Igbos, let them go. Let them go peacefully. You can't suppress an Igbo man in his own country. If you think that Peter Obi is because he's an Igbo man and he can't rule us, you lie. He has a right to rule this country. <coughs> Excuse me. Any small thing you can burn Igbo businesses. Any small thing you can kill Igbo people. Any small thing you must destroy Igbo people. A, a, a cartoon will take place. A, 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 a cartoon will take place. Olajide, uh, Shukami, please shut up your dirty mouth. You are part of the tribal bigot who, who, who say nonsense in this country. Shut up your dirty mouth. Shut up your dirty mouth, Olajide, Shukami, or what? Shut up your dirty mouth. You are part of the people, the, the problems in this country. Part of the problems, you, you are not a typical Yoruba elite. Afeni Fere will not talk the way you are talking. It's, I'm not promoting the vision. I'm saying the simple truth and shut up your dirty mouth or get out of here. I don't tolerate people like you. Olajide, shut up your dirty mouth and get out of my post. You tribal bigots. You are so afraid of saying the truth. I'm not promoting the vision. I'm speaking the basic truth. Speaking the basic truth. We can't treat the Igbos as second class citizens in our own country. And you expect people like me to keep quiet. Rubbish. Rubbish. You starved these people during the civil war. You nearly destroyed them. And then you, you come here and want the Igbo man to keep quiet. Do you know the investment Igbos have put in this country in terms of blood and sweat and intellectual power? Then you stay in your local community, either in Yoruba land or Hausa land, where you, or the north, or in Yoruba land, or anywhere, where you have a, 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 a little advanced, comparative advantage. You want to talk to the, the sixth richest tribe in the whole world, the fourth most traveled tribe in the whole world. Intellectual Yoruba has done discriminate against Igbo. That's why the mother of the governor of Lagos State is Igbo. The governor of Lagos State is married to Igbo. That's why Davido's grandmother also is Igbo. And their delegates speak Igbo. You midgets. You midgets. Godwin, I won't take it easy. I'm very angry. I won't, I'm very angry. Very angry. They will do it to my grandchildren because my grandchildren are going to answer Igbo names. I have an Igbo in law. If we allow one injustice in our generation, the injustice will continue. Abbas and Joy is crying now when Obi uh, is, is deprived of justice. Did Abbas and Joy not enjoy? Did Abbas and Joy not enjoy the privilege of PDP rigging elections? Did uh, Abbas and Joy not enjoy it? Very wicked Nigerians. They take advantage of any opportunity. To, to, to deprive people of their rights. If you don't want Igbos in this Nigeria, let them go. But at the same time, at the same time, I don't like Igbo boys that promote violence. Simon Ekpa, do you have any business in Nigeria? Do you have any business in Nigeria? Do you have any building in Nigeria? Do you have any shop in Nigeria? You stay in Finland, that hide in Finland, and display 
megalomania. You sit in a place like a shrine. Put cross, put all this in. And tell people that they should not vote. Tell people to go and kill people. Simon Ekpa, what do you have in Nigeria? What do you have in Nigeria? Simon Ekpa, which investment do you have in Nigeria? What have you contributed to Nigeria? What have you contributed to Nigeria? All you young boys who were born after the civil war, talking about war, 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 war. Do you know what war is? I was, I, I'm older than Nigeria. I'm older than Peter Obi. I know of civil war. I know of shooting my neighbor dead, seeing my able neighbor killed. I know of children hungry. What, what kind of rubbish people are doing? You should not go to market on Monday. Why would the Ibo man not open his market? Why would the Ibo man not participate in election? We can build Biafra within Nigeria. We can develop the East in such a way that this county East will be a model. Ah! What is it? There's hatred for the Ibo man, Dennis. Hatred. Visibly purposefully displayed and no person talks. Imagine MC Oluma, if you are Igbo, don't come and vote here. And he's a United States citizen. And when uh, Barack Obama won elections in, 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 in America, all of you celebrated bloody hypocritical Nigerians. Bloody hypocritical Nigerians. I don't trust any of you. Don't trust any of you. You will go to mosque and pray. You will go to church and pray. Then you will, you will discriminate against an Igbo man. Nonsense. This thing must end in this country. This country belongs to all of us. Nobody is a second class citizen. I have 24 oil wells around my mother's village here where, where I am. You come and take my oil, then you come and you want to dominate me and, and turn me to a second class citizen. It shall never happen. Never happen. Never happen. I just mentioned uh, Simon Ipa. I have one other younger friend in America, in Baltimore, uh, um, Livingston Okoronkwa. He, he starts on the school under me. Livingston, stop this, your rubbish call for secession and violence. You don't have any investment in Igbo land. I know you. I know you personally. I attend the same church with you. You are in Baltimore. You are enjoying America. And you are encouraging Igbo boys to go into violence. Rubbish. This country... And I want to speak to the Supreme Court justices because the case will end up in the Supreme Court most likely. When this country has a way of catching up with you, anything you tolerate will catch up with you. Look at all those who nullified June 12. Where are they? Where is Babangida? Look at him. Where is his wife? Look at him. Where, are, where is uh, Aton Zeribe? Where is uh, Justice Ikpeme? Nigeria will catch up with you if you, this, this country, if you practice injustice in this country, all those who want to deprive us of a new Nigeria, the air you breathe in this country will burn your lungs. The water you drink will, will corrode your throat. The food you eat will poison you. The earth will vomit you. Because the Bible says, because of of the sins of the Amorite, the earth vomited. You justices, remember, uh, 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 you remember Onoga? You remember Onoga, Justice Onoga? Yes. What happened to him? Was he not in the Supreme Court? This is the time. This is the time. We must stand up for the truth and be known as a nation of civilized people. Let me, let me tell you one thing. I voted, I'm not afraid of any person. I voted APC for Senate. Dafinone. I voted Francis Wyver, APC for House of uh, Representatives. I voted a B for Labour. If I go to hospital today, even though I'm a medical doctor, I go to hospital today and I'm sick, will I wait for an Urobo doctor to treat me? If it's an Igbo doctor, he will treat me. Why then must you say that it must be a Yoruba man? If an Igbo man is the surgeon that will operate on you, won't you allow him? Hypocrites! Bloody hypocrites! Bloody hypocrites! 
I'm offended. We must, we must, we must demand excellence. The money you will steal from these elections, the money that we use to bribe you, I need chairman, the money that we use to bribe you, the money you will collect as policeman, it will turn to gravel in your mouth, turn to gravel in the mouth of your children. Check Sani Abacha. You will not enjoy it. You will not enjoy it. You will not enjoy it. You will not enjoy this land. This land will quarrel with you. Anytime you go to the mosque, you kneel down to pray. Injustice will be like a, a slab of concrete on your chest. God will not hear your prayer because of wickedness. He said the prayer of a right of an ungodly man is an abomination to God. Uh, Remy Tinibu, pastor, 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 what are you going to preach? 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 All these Muslims go to mosque every day, pray. Christians go to church every day, pray. And you and you can scuttle justice. Then you fast. What kind of fast does God want? The fast of justice. I'm speaking to you from the same spot. I did the video on answers. Let me warn those lawyers. You go to a tribunal. I know your technique. You will start asking for adjournment, asking for adjournment, asking for adjournment. God will adjourn your progress. He will adjourn your success. He will, he will adjourn your, 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 your greatness. Better judge this case. Let's finalize it. And let's have a new nation. Let's have a new nation. Let's have a new nation. Imagine somebody you elected as president. He's still calling. He say, I stand here uh, uh, as a governor. What is it? Are we not ashamed? Are we not ashamed? When you sleep, the blood of those who died in this election will haunt you. You will have nightmares. Nightmares. You will have nightmares. You will have nightmares. You go to you go to you go to America. There are so many Yoruba people in the UK who has driven them. So many Igbo people in the UK who has driven them. So many Yorubas in Brazil who has driven them. Who has driven them for God's sake? Nigerians won elections in the UK. Nigerians won elections in the US. Who has discriminated against them? Wicked people. Evil people. Any pastor with his fake prophecy, fake pronouncement, God will disgrace you. We have suffered too much. Suffered too much. I have I have only only seven hundred naira in my pocket. A multi-millionaire like me, because of stupid leadership, banned uh, old currency, returned old currency, uh, released. What kind of country is this? For God's sake. What kind of country is this for God's sake? Adam Chi, I'm angry. I am angry. We elders, if we don't speak, our children will eat vultures as chicken. In your job, Gafela for Abo, Ogabo Menela. When a bad thing continues for more than two years, it will become a tradition. Let's not make injustice a tradition in this country. Oh, the Northern Brethren are, are very company. Look at, uh, what is the vice president's name? Uh, Dati Baba Ahmed. Very, very competent. That one idiot came up and said he's from Mauritania. So what? Is Barack Obama not from Kenya? He was born in Nigeria. He's a citizen of this country. He was a senator. You people lazy, unproductive people. You always find a reason to discriminate against persons. I have competed globally and competed well. I didn't go there as an honorable man. I didn't go there as, a, as, as from, from Delta State. What nonsense is this? It must end. We must stand for the truth. I have a lot to do. I need to produce Gary, but I've said my mind. My grandchildren will watch this video and know that I stood for truth. Those of you who stand for evil, your grandchildren will be ashamed of you. You will go to the grave with disgrace, with pain. 
You think you will go overseas for treatment? Before you will reach the, reach the airport, you will die in this country. You will not get medical treatment overseas. You will die in this country. You think you can destroy the hospitals and fly away? No, you cannot destroy this country and go and enjoy overseas. You will die painfully and shamefully in this country. Rubbish. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Tired of this nonsense. Somebody has to talk. I remain, I don't know whether I'm still your friend, but I remain Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you and God bless Nigeria. God bless the Yorubas. God bless the Igbos. God bless the Northerners. God bless we from Niger Delta. God bless all those who refuse to support evil. God bless all those who refuse to keep quiet in the midst of evil and become accessory to criminality. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki.